Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today, let's make an alien spider shirt. It's really just a diamond shirt that looks like an alien spider. As usual, the shirt was washed and dried, soaked in a soda ash solution for 20 to 30 minutes. I wrung it out of my panda spin dryer so it's just barely damp. The shirt's also inside out. I'm gonna start by centering the shirt. So this process is gonna go pretty fast. But ultimately what I'm doing is getting both sides of the front of the shirt right up next to each other and both sides of the back of the shirt up next to each other. That way whenever I apply the dye to the shirt, because both of the front sides are right beside each other, they're going to look more symmetrical and so will the back. I have a link to another video down below the description for this video that shows how to center a shirt. Once the shirt is centered, I want to make some really large fan folds in the shirt, going from the bottom to the top. So to do that, I'm going to fold the hem of the shirt up toward the neck of the shirt, basically folding the shirt in half. Then I'm going to grab the hem of the shirt and pull it back down halfway. I'm going to pinch that top seam and lift the shirt up off of the table. And when I do, it's going to fold the top of the shirt back. So like I said, I just made some really large fan folds in the shirt. Using a straight edge and a washable marker, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line on the shirt from the bottom center point all the way up to the top corner point. Now I'm gonna fan fold this line and hold the folds in place with some kite string. This fold is pretty thick, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it aside for a couple of days and let it dry out completely. For really thick folds like this, or say a mandala or a geode, I found that I get better color saturation when I let the shirt dry out. If it's too damp when I start applying the dye, the shirt doesn't soak up the dye quite as easily, and sometimes I can have a lot of white areas left in the middle. So for this shirt, I'm going to use three colors on the front and one color on the back. On the front, I'm using Watermelon from Dharma Trading Company, Hot Hibiscus from Dharma, and True Violet from Grateful Dyes. I'm starting right on the initial fan fold that I drew and folded with Watermelon. Then the pattern that I'm going to use is on either side of the Watermelon. I'm going to add Hot Hibiscus, followed by True Violet, more hot hibiscus, then watermelon. I'm gonna continue that color pattern on down the shirt.
Once I've dyed the front of the shirt, I'm gonna turn the shirt over and put Raven Black from Dharma Trading Company all over the back of the shirt. I wanna cover all the white areas and I wanna saturate it pretty well, but I don't wanna oversaturate it where it goes through to the front and overtakes all the colors that I've put on the front of the shirt. I'm gonna turn it back over and process the shirt with the colored side up. After 24 hours, I took the shirt to my utility sink and I began rinsing it in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. Then I untied the shirt and gradually warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the shirt. Once the water was almost clear, I put the shirt into my washing machine and washed it using a hot cycle and a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent. Then after the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think about the shirt? Do you see now why I call it an alien spider? I showed it to my son and that's the very first thing he said is he said it looks like something off of an alien movie, like a weird spider or something. It wasn't exactly what I expected the shirt to be, but I think it turned out cool. I like the color combination, but I think the watermelon gets lost a little bit. The hot hibiscus kind of overtook the watermelon or they were a little too close in color. Then because I did the large fan folds in this shirt, you can tell that the bottom part of the shirt was on the side where I applied the black because that ended up really black down there and not a whole lot of black up at the top. I got fairly good color saturation. There are more white areas than I wanted in the shirt, but Overall, I think the color saturation is okay. So I think that the colored area right down at the bottom in the black area looks like the alien spider's face. And then all of the colored areas coming out of the black look like all the alien spider's feet or legs. I think it looks pretty cool. But leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Do you think it looks like an alien spider or do you have a better description for what this shirt looks like? And if you enjoyed the video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.